Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful animation in PowerPoint. This design has collapsible menu with different items each hyperlinked to different slides. You can also observe shadow effect on each slide every time when menu appears and disappears. It's bit lengthy video but we will have a beautiful result at the end. So let's get started. To start with, I have added 6 different slides into this presentation and renamed each of these slide titles with respective infographic steps. Basically these titles vary from 3 step to 8 step designs. At first, let's create the shadow effect by drawing rectangle shape covering entire slide. Make it no outline, and fill it with dark grey color. Increase its transparency to see through. This shadow shape will appear, and disappear along with our main menu. Bring slide title to front, so that it remains on top. Next go to insert tab, and draw rectangle shape to cover slide title. Make it no outline, and fill it with white color. Again bring slide title to front. Format this rectangle shape with auto shadow effect, and reduce its distance value to 2 points. Next go to insert tab, and draw rectangle shape on left portion of slide. This will be our main menu. Make it no outline, and fill it with white color. Again, format this rectangle with auto shadow effect, with same distance value. Bring upper rectangle shape, and slide title to front. Next we will place menu items, which are basically each slide titles. So from each slide, copy and paste titles onto this rectangle shape. Select all titles, and reduce their font size. Align them to right, and distribute them vertically. Select PNG icons, and reduce their size to 0.3 inches. Align them properly against each slide titles. Next we will create icons to show and close our main menu. Go to insert tab, and draw rounded rectangle shape. 
make it completely rounded, and reduce its size. Make it no outline, and duplicate it two more times using Ctrl plus D. Align these shapes one below the other, and that will be our menu icon. Create one more duplicate of this shape, and rotate it by 45 degrees. Again create a duplicate, and flip it horizontally. Align them as shown, to create a close button icon. Let's group these two icon shapes, and then format them with two-step linear gradient. Change step colors of your choice, and change the gradient direction. Finally let's create highlighter for our titles, using rounded rectangle shape. Make it no outline, and format it with same two-step linear gradient. Bring all titles to front, so that highlighter shape remains at the back end. Change the first title font color to white. Finally select all menu items, and group them together. This way, we can animate them together. Make sure to keep all top menu items to front. Now these steps are important. Go to selection pane, and rename menu shape, and its buttons on top. This will help us to refer them easily during animations. Next important step is to hyperlink each of these slide titles, to respective slides. Select the first slide title, then go to insert tab. Click on action, and on the windows that pops up, select hyperlink option. Make sure that we are doing these changes under mouse click tab. From the drop down, select slide option, and click on slide 1 to hyperlink it. Similarly hyperlink second title to second slide. Follow same steps to all titles. After all these initial setups, finally we are all set to create animations. Let's first create animations for menu buttons. When we click on menu button, it must disappear, and close button must show up. Parallelly, menu items must appear, along with shadow effect. So first select the close button, and apply zoom in animation. Set its trigger as menu button.
Next select menu button and apply zoom out animation. Start it with previous and set its trigger as menu button. Apply fly in animation to main menu and change its direction to left. Set its trigger as menu button and start it with previous. Finally select shadow shape and apply appear animation. Start it with previous and set its trigger as menu button. So all these animations will start as soon as we click on menu button. Let's preview the animation once. That looks perfect. Now we need to create exactly opposite set of animations and these must trigger when we click on close button. So let's select close button, go to add animation option and apply zoom out animation. This time set its trigger as close button. Similarly select menu button, go to add animation option and apply zoom in animation. Start it with previous and drag this animation to trigger section of close button. Continue to apply fly out animation to main menu and disappear animation to shadow shape. All must start with previous and have trigger as close button. Now select all these animations and set their duration to 0.3 seconds. Let's preview the animation. Looks good, but shadow shape appears bit lately. So let's reduce its animation duration to 0.1 seconds. Now that looks perfect. Now align both menu items one over the other and let's see the animation again. That looks beautiful. Now select all extra design elements which we have created, copy and paste them onto second slide. Bring second slide title to front. These are bit important steps. Since we are on second slide, select the highlighter shape and move it under second title using arrow keys on your keyboard. Change first slide title font color to black and second slide title font color to white. Let's check the animation and observe where it fails. When we click on second slide title, main menu will fail to appear. This is because, when we transit between two slides, all animations are turned off by default. So, main menu and shadow shape must have appear animations when we transit between two slides. And these animations must begin with previous, so that these shapes must appear as soon as slide transits. Let's preview the animation again. Now main menu will show up, but we can observe the change in buttons. 
so when main menu shows up, only close button must be visible. Let's select close button, and apply appear animation. Next select menu button, and apply disappear animation. Start these animations with previous. Let's preview the animation now. That looks perfect. Now copy and paste all extra design elements into third slide, and bring third slide title to front. Move the highlighter shape to third title, and change the font colors. Continue to follow these steps to all remaining slides. We don't have to make any changes in animations, because all animations will be automatically carried forward when we copy and paste the shapes. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.